हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू वीडियो सीरीज सोवा मैनेजमेंट यूजिंग एंटरप्राइज मैनेजर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ एंटरप्राइज मैनेजर 13 सी हेल्प्स एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स डायग्नोज डे टू डे इश्यूज यूजिंग इंटीग्रेटेड डीप डायग्नोस्टिक कैपेबिलिटीज विद इन एंटरप्राइज मैनेजर एंटरप्राइज मैनेजर 13 सी इंटीग्रेट्स डायग्नोस्टिक कैपेबिलिटीज एट वेरियस लेवल्स इट इंटीग्रेट्स विद इंसिडेंट मैनेजर टू रिसीव अलर्ट्स notifications and to create incidents for warning or critical conditions log analytics uh, to slice add dice log output and then group them using ecid thread id message id or search custom strings to bring some meaningful value jvm diagnostic to analyze jvm level performance assess workload and perform live thread analysis database diagnostic to understand dehydration store performance and analysis database deadlocks and finally configuration comparison utility to compare configuration of two different instances we will see how administrator uses all these features to analyze day to day issues we will take an example and try to drill down using each of these diagnostic tools so recently um, i have as an administrator i have received many times complaint from my it department about very slow performance of a composite we are going to see today how am i going to analyze this slow performance of the composite using enterprise manager 13c as an administrator first thing i would like to see in the morning is how my entire soa or middleware estate is looking like what are all domains are running okay what all domains are showing issues so i log into enterprise manager as soon as i log into enterprise manager i see middleware targets page where i see my entire middleware estate here i see the list of all my domains running in the organization however a uh, scrolling through so many targets is very tedious so uh, i want to have some crisp view of my entire estate uh, which can give me briefly the idea about the status of all instances so i go to heat map tab on heat map tab i see all my domains and their status here each rectangle indicates a domain size of the rectangle indicates number of targets like servers composites jvm data agents etc in a domain color of the domain indicates status of the domain here i have customized color coding using customization tools on right hand side if more than 60% of my targets in a domain are down then domain color is red if more than 95% of targets are up and running then domain color is shown as dark green so this single page gives me visualization of my entire estate there are few domains down but i have brought them down on a purpose so i do not see any major issues at this level next step is to check if there are any major incidents at individual target level so i go to incident manager go to enterprise monitoring and click on incident manager here i get a list of all incidents generated recently i can also search based on time period i see couple of incidents here where i should pay more attention some of the targets are down some of the targets have shown some metric evaluation errors and here i see multiple events which are generated by enterprise manager wherein i see uh, some of the events are related to bacon some of the events are related to average incoming processing time so this way i can find out all my events and incidents uh, which i should be more careful about i can click on the incident and find out more details about a specific incident but i do not see uh, any major issue happening as part of incidents at this point so now i go back to targets page and browse to sova infrastructure page
On SOA infrastructure page, I see many details related to composites, their performance, also see details about latest incidents, problems for all of these targets. On the next tab, I see more details about each composite and see if everything is alright here. I do not see any major issue apart from these two composites wherein a validate payment composite has a synchronous response time of more than 5000 milliseconds. Similar is the case for pack and ship service. So I suspect that there is something which is happening within my system which is creating such a delay for execution of composites. Now I need to focus on analyzing why there is such much delay on these executions. I move on to the next tab that is dehydration store performance here. Now, dehydration store performance is available from integrated DB diagnostic capabilities into enterprise manager. I see dehydration store growth rate which is very normal here. This particular factor is very much important for all SOA administrators to keep dehydration store working fine and all SOA composites working good. Just below this, I see the graph indicating number of active sessions and related reasons on the right hand side. So I see that there are many active sessions which are open for the reason which is not known and marked as other. There are few number of CPU related active sessions and few number of active sessions are waiting for IOVID. I scroll further down and I see that there are many top sequels which are listed as per the DB time required for each of these SQL. So this particular table indicates the slowest SQL on the top. There are two SQLs which are performing very slow here. Insert into cube instance and select CI key. The first particular statement is about select query and this is not very frequently used. So I'm going to focus on the second SQL which is about insert into cube instance which is important for each and every composite execution. Before jumping on to SQL analysis, let me see whether there is anything wrong at JVM level. I click on integrated JVM diagnostic feature and go to JVM diagnostics performance page. I see here active threads by their states, JVM CPU utilization, JVM heap utilization. There are top activities and top requests which are listed on this particular JVM diagnostic page. I can do Java workload explorer to see how much is the workload on each of these instances. Though there are some warnings here indicated in yellow. I do not see any major hurdle here creating slow performance of composites. So I go back to my SOA infrastructure dehydration store diagnostic page. Since I am not able to find any major issue in JVM diagnostic, now let me drill down into the SQL performance. So I click on SQL ID here. And once I am logged in, I see details about query execution at database level. I see some spikes in active sessions here. I select activity tab and find that spikes in the active sessions are at regular interval. It looks like that all these sessions are open and waiting for resources. As soon as resource is available, all sessions are closed immediately. That's exactly the problem occurs when there is a resource contention. We have simulated resource contention here by locking cube instance table for few seconds. So when threads are waiting for table access, we see number of activations increasing and as soon as access is available, we see number of activations drastically reduced. Now this was about performance issue. But there can be many other issues where enterprise managers log analytics will be extremely useful. Let's go to log messages for SOA infra and see some more details.
to go to log analytics capability go to soa infrastructure menu go to logs and view log messages here we see by default error messages are populated let me change the search criteria to select warning notifications trace and all messages related to this particular soa instance now i see all messages i can now slice and dice these messages and group them by ecid or thread id if i try to group them by ecid i see number of messages or notifications for each ecid so those are grouped together once i click on these notifications i'll see all the messages for this particular ecid typically if there is any exception in the log file developers trace exceptions by tracking ecid and given that soa logs generate huge number of log messages this is extremely tedious task Enterprise Manager provides out of box support for slicing and dicing of all these log messages. I can even search by custom search string. Last capability we are going to see today is about comparing configurations of different instances. So that I can find the root cause of the issues that occur on one environment but do not occur on other environments. I again go back to my soa infrastructure page then go to configuration tab and click on compare In the next screen I select a template for comparison and I add a target to compare with This default template indicate that EM need to compare all the aspects of soa domain so we will see the huge list of differences we can customize this template to compare specific parameters and also find continuous drift from templates as soon as i click on compare submit button em submits a deployment procedure and both domains are compared and results shown in a while As I mentioned we see huge number of differences here which corresponds to each of these domains configurations So today we saw how enterprise manager 13c helps administrators in their day to day tasks that can be managed effectively from single pane of glass provided by enterprise manager This concludes demo thank you for attending